Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be playing in some makeup. I'm going to be trying some new products, some products I haven't used in a long time. Just playing with makeup at 12 o'clock at night during quarantine. So yeah, let's just get started with the video. Alright, so I'm just going to play with some makeup today. I'm just going to try some new products out, some old products out. And yeah, we're just going to go with the flow. I don't really have a look planned. I'm just going to play with some makeup today. So first I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade Light Beige and this is the dewy one. Surprisingly I've never, how do I even, surprisingly I've never used this foundation, that's what I was trying to say, but it's not coming, oh, there we go. Um, I've heard a lot of people raving about this, so I have some high expectations. I'm just going to take my Shop Miss A a sponge that I'm obsessed with. I have two videos. I have one with their haul, well, with a haul that I did and one testing out the product. So if you want to go check that out, that's on my channel. But I love this sponge. I think it's way better than anything I've ever used, honestly. Next up, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. So my thoughts on the foundation. I like it so far, I think it has decent coverage. Um, is it full, full coverage? I don't think so. Is it buildable? Yes. I hate that it doesn't have a pump because it just makes it, makes it really messy and difficult. But other than that, I think the product is pretty good. I'll have to test it out and see how it wears. But for right now, I'm enjoying it. While this concealer dries up a little bit, I'm going to take the Too Faced Concealer in Nude and just conceal some little spots or darkness areas that I have. Next up I'm taking the Cody Airspun and I'm just gonna bake my under eyes with that. If you watched my Sephora haul, I had this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade Golden. I got it for free and it's pretty dark for me as you can tell so i'm gonna see if i can maybe cream contour with this it might be a complete disaster but <laughs> okay so i learned that it's kind of difficult to blend it out with a brush but with a blender it's fine. So it's looking pretty good, honestly. No complaints. Bronzer, I'm just going to take the Kiko bronzer in the shade 02 Natural Sienna. Okay, so I know I look crazy, so I'm just gonna clean up the bake because it's kind of messy. Next up, if you watch my um, Shop Miss A haul again, or review, whatever, I really loved the AOA Studio Perfect Blush in the shade Delight. So I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks. I'm just gonna take this brush and pat and swipe away the bake so it's because we didn't set the face so we don't want to move the product now the contour is a little harsh so I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just kind of not mess it up but make it a little less sharp 
Now I'm taking the Morphe highlighter in the shade Extra. And I used to use this a lot, it's pretty dirty. I don't know why I stopped using it, I think I just bought new ones and stuff like that, but... We have all this powder on our face, I'm just gonna spritz my face with the Morphe spray. Now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera. My eyebrows are filled in. Um, I use my normal products. If you guys want an in-depth brow routine, I could do that. It's really easy and really fast. So I'm not really sure. Maybe I can incorporate how I tint my eyebrows. I do that sometimes also. But for right now, I think I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. And I also have the Pixie by Petra and the Sky Eye Pen in the shade Velvet Violet. I kind of want to use this. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate it. Maybe like with the orange. I really don't know. I'm just going to play with some eyeshadow and see what I come up with. For my base, I'm going to use the P. Louise base in the shade 0.5. And I'm just going to take it on my little favorite brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit and prime my lids. Alright, so I know this is not the most ideal brush cleaning but I just take like a cotton round and I just swirl it just in case I have any extra product on it so yeah so I uh, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade taste buds and just put that all over my crease I think I'm gonna take this shade right here. I don't wanna say the name on camera, but the shade right here, and I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid. Take a flat brush and just spray it. Of just using my finger because that's just what's best I'm gonna go back in taste buds and just really buff and blend all that together I'm really loving the way that this is looking so now I'm gonna take this like flat brush I know it has some purple on it so I'm just gonna or blue sorry just gonna wipe that off and I'm gonna go into taste buds again and just put that underneath my lash line. The more round brush and I'm gonna take the brighter shade that I put all over my lid and just really blend that out on my lid lower lash line. I think I'm going to add the blue or the purple on my waterline. this purple literally transform the look look I'm so excited <laughs> now I'm just gonna coat my eyes with mascara and then I'm gonna take the AOA studio premium lash in this style Carlene I might change the style out I'm not really sure but I think this would look good with the look that I have on right now but I'll let you know and by the way these are from my um, haul also and I did test these out and I do love these so try out the iconic collection um, eyelashes because these are a little bit less dramatic than these there's nothing wrong with these I just think they 
the eyeshadow needs its like spotlight and these are way too big and they cover most of the look. I'm obsessed with how this look is turning out. I want more purple, so I'm gonna try and see if I can build it up. But I'm loving the eyeshadow right now. It looks so good. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a close up of how this looks right now. I know my lips are really dry. Please excuse that. We're gonna put a lip product on right now. I know I always use a nude lip, sorry, but this is pretty bright and I want the eyes to be the main focus. So I'm just gonna take the KKW liner in the shade 1.5 and then the lipstick in the shade three. All right, so we're gonna resort to the ColourPop BFF liner. So this is extremely nude, so I want to add a gloss to it. I'm not really sure which one, but I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to take the Ultra Lip Rose Hip Oil from Broadway, I guess. This is from the beauty supply store. It's like a dollar or something crazy like that. And look at that shine. You don't need expensive glosses. Just go to the beauty supply store. I promise you won't regret it. All right, so here is the completed look. I'm so incredibly obsessed with this. Too bad it's about like midnight right now and I have nowhere to go. And we're in quarantine, so I can't even go anywhere anyways. But I'm just extremely obsessed with it. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.